Hello, I'm Jessica, an e-learning specialist, and I'm here to show you today how to make a chart, even with data that's far apart, in Excel. I have here a uh, Excel file that has some data in it, and just to show you what we're doing, I have actually already created a chart on this particular sheet. So how did I do this? Real easy. I'm going to go to a new sheet, and I'm going to go to Insert a chart and you've got recommended charts now which is awesome but I'm just going to make a bar chart and I'm going to make it a 3D chart because that's fun. And once you've started your chart you'll see that you have your um, chart specific tabs up here in the um, ribbon so you know that you're working in the right area. And right now it's kind of empty so I'm going to go select my data. I simply add and then I'm going to go back to the uh, Excel data over here. And just be careful because here under series name, whatever you type, that's what the uh, title will be. So a great way to do this, you can either hand type it in or delete that out. Or I can choose a cell. If I rename it in this sheet here, it will automatically rename it in my chart. So it depends if that is useful for you or not. All right, then I'm going to go down to series values. And again, I need to be sure that I delete that out. And so for this first one, I'm going to say uh, that I'm going to add the products and services. Just because. And now I'm going to add another option. And I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to do my prior period. And I'm going to add my data. And I'm going to add another one. Current period. OK. And so we'll go check out our chart and see what it says. Oh, very interesting. Well, you know, I think I need to change some of my data. So I just go back to select data, and I really you know, don't want to see the sales revenue in this chart. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to hit remove. That simple. And there you have it, the easiest way to create a chart based on data that is far apart. Hope that helps.